Last time on Donkam Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. You you hate bugs? That's not true. Um um you don't hate bugs. You love them, right? Sweetie, sweetie, say you fucking love the bugs. Say say you like the praying mantis. Say you like praying mantises all over your body. I don't care what it takes. Uh yes, of course I do. I love bugs. I dream of bugs every night. I am bug man. I am the tick. Hey guys, right in here, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So, I just have to thank you guys for all the support on these previous videos. I was really worried when starting this series. I honestly was. I'm like, oh, I'm diving into something that nobody knows about, and it's a visual novel, so people are gonna, aren't gonna care about that. But honestly, it's doing, like, one of my Ace Attorney series. It's not the most, like, popular thing in the world, but uh, people do obviously seem interested in watching it. And that first video I posted has over a thousand views somehow. I no clue how that happened, so thank you so very much. And I'm not gonna. I saw in the comment section someone was worried I was gonna like near this and be like, no, I'm gonna stop this due to lack of interest. No, I love this game way too much to stop it. Uh, even if not everyone's into it, although it is a pretty long game, so yeah. I heard the game's around like 40 to 60 hours, it's pretty long for a visual novel, anyways. Let's go to the gym to finally get this started because come on, we all know what's gonna happen in the gym unless you've never played Dangaropa before. Then. Welcome to the turning point of the game. <laughs> Do you agree? All 16 of us have gathered. Mm. Huh, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gather gathered together. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be able to, g to be so easy going for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually, Sumi uh, Sumugi stopped thinking. <laughs> Is that a goddamn JoJo reference? <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a- is that a JoJo reference? I was making the jokes, but oh my goodness. I heard that that character specifically does make a lot of, like, uh, anime and video game references, so... I'll try and keep an eye out for that. Yeah, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. What? <laughs> what? What are you looking at? I- you know, the thing is, I haven't really seen anyone interact with each other yet. Himiko! Um, Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Honestly, like a kung fu mage would be the best thing ever. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <laughs> Talking about is too tiring. <laughs> you're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not, we, we do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. Oh, pretty quickly. D don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, right. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. A tool will protect us. Thank goodness. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> Fucking moron! Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'm gonna whack. <laughs> I'm gonna whack him out of that skull don't of yours. Worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me, the ultimate astronaut. I'm, my skill is totally applicable in every single situation possible. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their asses. I'm going to wonder. Oh, uh, what that? What's wrong? Mm, what's wrong? See? Listen, hear that? Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. I want Char Assemble just to burst through the wall. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, we get it. It's your catchphrase. They did it on time this time. Everyone! Everyone behind Gonta! Gonta will fight all of them by myself. <laughs> Just blows up all the robots, can now leave the school. The end. <gasps> well, what the heck are these monsters? Wow. Whoa, so cool! Hell yeah! They're Exosols, highly mobile, bipedal weapon platforms. They got lots of hometown pride, too. Hometown, where's hometown? What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Hey! <laughs> Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <gasps> what, what, what the hell? Nobody told me about these. <laughs> it's okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger at all. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the Exosols. Man. So, what do you want from us? <laughs> you clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? 
Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we, we're gonna get hurt. That means... Well, so you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Oh, well, aren't you a wise guy? <laughs> I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? I'm gonna say the thing. Hell yeah, it's, it's a... a killing game. <laughs> Monotone. <laughs> huh? What? M M Mono Dom, how dare you upstage me? Really? No, Monokuma, I swore you would have been in here. Huh? Oh, wait, wait a second, what did you say? Hmm. Uh, if I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. Oh, he said it again. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Mono Dom, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. <laughs> Come on, we don't have to fight amongst ourselves. They're supposed okay. to kill each other. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. You too, Monotaro. To if this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here Exosol. What are you saying? <laughs> hey, why are you including oh, well. me? Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Is it? You gotta go, Jabroni! <laughs> Did he just really? <laughs> Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Oh my god, this localization. What the hell? The hell? Were they just- did they just give this game the localization and it's like, uh... So, is this accurate enough? And they look and they're like, is this even the same game? And they're just like, shrug. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. <laughs> Angie never seems to be worried about anything, thanks to Atua. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Or else what? They're gonna shoot each other with their guns? Now, now, now. Oh, no. Okay, so Monokuma is here. He just has to... He has to keep them corralled. What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Oh, that voice! Father! Wait, they're just calling him Father? Okay. I, I believe they did that in the demo too, but I don't remember. Father, Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma, Papa Kuma. Daddy! Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? Is it Daddy? <laughs> This family becomes more confusing by the second. That moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. I'm waiting. It's the same shot almost every time. Oh, now he's Angel Wings. <laughs> I am the god of this new world! It, that's very hard to take seriously with your voice, Monokuma. I, I was- I knew that they wouldn't get rid of him, but I was honestly hoping they would kind of replace him with something else. And I know it's very hard to do seeing as how, uh, how much he symbolizes this game entirely, but... I don't know, I was kind of hoping for something else since this is kind of a restart. And the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy! The one! The only! Monokuma! Now you guys see why I don't do this voice. Compared to my voice, it is incredibly high. Yay! Yay, Father's Hell here! Yeah. Hell yeah, another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. How nice! Daddy is so cool! My little cubs! <laughs> why is he shaking? Oh, he's so mad. My little cubs, you're all so freaking cute! I'm the only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. They're so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. Yeah. Where's Ike? I miss him. <laughs> this is so weird to do the grail voice here. In fact, the first, the very first pair, uh, prologue was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be stupid. Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> uh, he's mad, he's really mad. But Daddy is so cool even when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from planet of the from, from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. 
Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. Featuring Dante How from Devil May Cry. How times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! And he's just... Is he doing a Hadouken? Ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma! Is this for real? Are we... I, I, I'm not even gonna point this out. It's so obvious. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Oh my god. Did, is every line just a different reference? It's the power you bust out when you really wanna fuck the world shit up! <laughs> a power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Did they just make a Dragon Ball Z reference followed by a Kingdom Hearts reference? Anyway... Anyway, I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way! Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... Yeah, I can't think of any, though. It, it, oh, he got a cool it's hat. Not it's cause there's none worth remembering! But Father remembers, cause he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Cause Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news! Monokuma Ew. constantly goes to the onion for what's happening in the outside world. Hehe, <laughs> I, I love embracing my children, they're just so cute I can't help myself. Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> But in this case, ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute monocubs. <laughs> uh, well, uh, what is this? What's going on? Seems like... Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that's no ordinary teddy bear. As I can see it, the despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Wait, do you have, like, despair vision? You're really bugging me. Whoa, first of all, I'm no teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. <laughs> And I'll show, show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I really need to find some kind of anagram for that. Anything. Headmaster? Mm -hmm. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with with a built AI like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but... The Exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right. They're mindless, pr uh, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocubs. Mainly because there's not enough room for anyone else to fit inside. Sheesh. Except for maybe him. He, he may be able to get in and screw those things up. Autonomous robots piling weapons, platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, that may be, but I, what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned that we all seem to be ignoring. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> How? What's so amusing? It's just when I said well, when I said it before, I just kind of phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. <laughs> I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in the killing game. H how does that do with my talent at all? I play piano. I don't. I don't know. Push the piano on. It doesn't matter. Huh? K killing game us? Please stop. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in the killing huh? game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Go to never do that? C course not. Go to ge gentlemen, not hurt people. And another thing. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall that you can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exit souls, you can't defy us. <laughs> In other words, I have the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So, so do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? I'm not friends with any of you, I don't know what you guys think Kaede feels for all of you, but we met like 10 seconds oh, ago. Oh? Who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Yeah, that's right, Suichi. I'm getting you first. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait Kaede. Kaede just stabs Suichi instantly. Did I win? Uh, well, I, I, I didn't explain the rules yet, but I guess, yeah, you win. <laughs> e enemies? We're, we're enemies? Hmm, I still have a lot to learn from Father about sarcasm. <laughs> All this singing is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodom to relieve the stress. <laughs> but I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. I'm Daddy instead of a killing game. Could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? <laughs> you stupid! <laughs> Who'd want to play a game where no one dies? <laughs> a lot of people, apparently. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's cute. It's so cute I can barely stand it. 
They're so cute. Why it's so cute? Wait, why it's cute enough to eat? Cute enough that I want to eat it. Hey. Eh? Hey. Hey, Monophy, you might want to dial back the cute stick a bit. Hey. Cool it with the stupid banner. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? But we need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Wow, he's really down for this. He's like, all right, just tell me where's my base? What are my supplies? Who are my allies? Is it just me? Okay, just give me like a day. I'll kill all of them. <laughs> no way! Weapons, huh? That's kind of what a kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why at the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles? <laughs> The killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? <laughs> sophisticated experience? Yeah, yeah! Yes, here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class trials? I never thought I'd be able to use the Grail voice again for anything, but... Okay, even though it's not quite there, it's the best I can do. Okay, let us explain. Oh, look at all them, right, they're so, so cute! If one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. I don't know why, but whenever he comes up with these diagrams, the characters are always so goddamn adorable, and I want them to be like actual characters. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. They're called spotless now? Were they called that before? I don't recall them being called spotless in the last game. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. Fair enough. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment. So, girl, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. You're just like Mona me, aren't you? After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the blackened gets off scot free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial. <laughs> 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 You know, that that was a pretty short explanation, to be honest, compared to the last ones. Usually you take a while, Monokuma. You've gotten really good at this. Uh, that's... I don't believe he's ever had that sprite before, has he? You've been... you've been talking to some, uh, scissor girl lately. Oh, way too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. Gross. Hey, um... The point is, it's not enough to kill someone, you also have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill them without being caught and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. Uh, one you can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the pun- Wait, why is everyone so calm about this? In all the other games, everyone flips out. They lose it. Here, everyone's just standing around like, Yeah, I'm ready to kill everyone. Why not? It sounds great. It sounds like a fun game. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? A uh, execution? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game, so the punishment for murder is a bit more... permanent. Hell yeah! Oh, he's not gonna say anything. Okay, I thought... It's so weird when the, it switches from, like, fully voice acted back to not at all. <laughs> I have to get used to that. Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains. I bet that kind of stuff gives me a raging boner. What? I was guessing that's what he meant when he kept saying raging earlier, yeah. but... What? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? <laughs> yeah, I'm so hard right now. Blood, guts, brain. <laughs> what kind of sound is that? God, man. Whoa, Mono Feed just pukes. I don't even puke a robot. I'm so freaking hard. Yeah. Huh? Puke gives you a boner too? <laughs> you kids are just so adorable. <laughs> what? What the hell's cute about that? Well now. All right, I'm over this boring exposition. Chills, chills, Let's get this hard pounding killing school semester started already. You have free reign to murder however you like too, like bludgeoning 
or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any I way you like. Monokuma, I feel that this killing game needs a bit more balance. I feel like you need to work on your game design. Shut up, Zito. I didn't ask you. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. Wait, why bother gathering prodigies if you're just going to teach us how to kill people? Like, like, some of them are applicable, but honestly, 90, like, I would say 80% of the abilities that people have here are completely inapplicable. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy! Could be like the Ultimate Haunted Mansion, like RE1. You got me. Killing school semester, it's like a game. Wow, you seem hyped. <laughs> <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game. Is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. <gasps> hey, how can you, how can you degenerates be so calm? It, it can't be. Th this has to be a lie, right? It, it's a lie, right? Whoa, wiggly! Look at me, I'm so wiggly back here. I don't even know how I did this. It's oh god, the dream is collapsed. A lie, more like fiction, like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I I never do that. <laughs> My jobs, in fact, the exact opposite. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's gonna be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. What? Now then. now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, 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 just a minute. Oh, hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game ever. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um, Kaede, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's nice. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is most important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh, but what do you mean by that? I Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It just never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that it gets unbearably pumped up. Cause. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of find it funny. And the other ones, like, in both 1 and 2, they still kind of treat it like a school. And this time, Monokuma, like, this time around, he's just like, no, you're just here to kill each other. Screw learning. I, I gave you, like, crayons and shit. You're going to learn with that. <laughs> We stood dumbfounded and silent, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. You know, oh, are we getting that intro from the demo? Yes, we are. So I'm free to talk over it this time because we already saw it. But in the demo, I was, in case you guys haven't watched, I was flipping out about how cool this is and how, like, from a design standpoint, it's really freaking amazing. Like, a lot of my, like, main job that, because obviously I don't live off of YouTube or anything, a lot of my main job includes design and such. That's why my thumbnails look so horrific. But, uh, yeah, I can really praise this. Cheese and wine. All the time. I am the ultimate backwards chair sitter. <laughs> Fear me. Oh my god. I hope, like, some years in the future, when, when, like, an artist finally sees this, I want to see art of, like, a cross between Oscar and Rantaro. By the way, it's gonna take me a little bit to remember these names. I have, like, I have the worst memory when it comes to names. 
and the fact that they're all like Japanese names, unless they stand out like Kaede or Suichi, or I'm saying them constantly, or Gonta. Oh, I love this. Uh, I'm probably not gonna remember all that easily, so excuse me if I do mess this up quite a bit when trying to say people's names. The only thing that I felt like is a spoiler in this entire thing is the meteor scene. It really makes me wonder. It also makes me wonder, like, where they can go after this. Because it's obviously, like, you're not- we're not just gonna leave and it's gonna be like, Okay, you're outside the school now, you're in the outside world, have fun. That never happens, but we've already been introduced to, like, Apocalypse Land and Digital World, so I'm very curious as to what they could pull now. Oh, oh, that's an ultimate reviewer. Oh, no, end. We beat it. The game is over. Congratulations. New, obtain present. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles badge. After Monokuma and the Monocubs left. I got an iPad! <laughs> Holy shit, if I have to die for this? Works for me, I, didn't, I wasn't rich enough to own any stuff anyway. An alarm suddenly rang for my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Ah, oh, that's nice. Once a murder takes place, all the surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened is exposed during a class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, all the remaining students will be executed. If the blackened survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world, or whatever is left of it. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off-limits at night. The violence, violence toward Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited, or else you'll end up like, uh, our old robot friend. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. The monopads are very important items, please do not damage them. <laughs> the body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. Wait, is that with the killer or without? With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate the rules will be immediately exterminated by the Exosols. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time, even if it's bullshit and doesn't benefit anyone just because he felt like it. You gotta be kidding me. I will never, I will never participate in a killing game. <laughs> she turns around like Suichi already shot all of them. He's like, what? If there's no one else to see, then I can just leave, right? <laughs> like, my question is... I mean, this technically happened in the anime. My question is, what if Monokuma starts one of these things and he's like, I'm gonna use this to show ultimate despair, and one of the students just kills all the other 15. Like, immediately. <laughs> and he's like, well, I spent, like, years setting this up. God damn it. <laughs> ultimate regula- or the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, school regulations. So these are the rules. How? I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice, it's ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah! Hey, hey, what does this six reg six regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see! Yeah! I see, I see, you're so smart, Suichi. Always messing around. Qu quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations. I ain't least no school regulations. <laughs> Don't screw around! To hell with that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? Your hair bothers me so much. Kaido raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, the Exosols will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules, no way I'm gonna play this messed no. up game. It isn't about playing the game, it's too dangerous to obey him Shut now. Forget about him, just means one less dumbass f for the world to deal Shut with. Up! Hey, who are you calling a dumbass, dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Oh, hey, quit fighting already! Whoa! Whoa, what the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves, right now we need to work together. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song and gave mm -hmm. a speech. Chopin's military p uh, polonaise would definitely 
they help unite us. Right? I, it's weird because normally the characters from the past two games are not ultimate, so they don't say a bunch of weird things like Kaide or Kaide. Um, Hajime and Naigi aren't exactly the most, uh, how do I say it? They don't aspire to really be anything. As her Kaede's already completely in love with her profession, so she feels more like another Danganronpa character than being the protagonist of the story, because she's no absolute, like, blank slate. She has things that she loves just like everyone else, so she's a weirdo like the rest of them. Yeah, I could get behind some baloney. Is that baloney? Baloney. I don't even like meat or potatoes. <laughs> I agree with Kaede, too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Wow, wow you're shaking so... <laughs> Look at that face. It's like, I'm gonna squish my cheeks together because I'm so confused. I don't even know why I'm here. I get to kill people now. Really? Yeah, I can't even handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. Hey. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? Hey, pay attention to my dildo joke! What? But we looked all over that wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now, wait just a second. There's no opening in the wall. Then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. I doubt it's that simple. What kind of logic is that? There's no opening in the wall. It's not like they could have built a wall after getting you in here. Whoever trapped us here wants to wants us to fight each other. All right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? Because that always works. Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You've made your case with such su uh, succinct... Uh, succinct... Oh my god, I can't even say that. Succinct... A plomb that we've been rendered speechless. Jeez. Hey, I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easy. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Oh, and the two will give us strength. Wow, impressive. <laughs> I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? We're just about to get started. Um. Um. Maybe it not matter much, but. Going to find manhole earlier and grass behind school building. Huh? A manhole? Mm. Going to peek in, see big underground passage, think maybe it exit. <laughs> but... Sorry, it's probably not so simple. Ah! Well, you, you gotta mention stuff like that much faster. Oh, going to peek in. Wait, going to peek in? See big underground passage, think maybe it, maybe it exit. <laughs> uh, no. Wait, not like that, you're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. <laughs> Just smash us straight through the wall. Away we go. <laughs> With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just sounds about to follow after them. These two are still in the gym, being highly suspicious. Wow, impressive. Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh, what was? How should I put this? The way you change the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Mm. But looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, that's all. So unsure. So it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Oh, goodness. Huh? I knew you weren't going to be, like, forward with everyone. What? That means. I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. Sure. They're going to come for you, Kaine, with everything they've got. I'm just a little worried about you. You're s just so straightforward. This guy has a lot of, like, different profiles. Like, he has a side profile, like a back one. He turns around a lot while talking. And away he goes. That guy could be really- could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Ah, uh, perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think, anyway. Being a strong- being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Uh, so sorry I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like no. this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah, Rontaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talents as well. Is that something you can really forget? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just use that- we should just head to that manhole. Okay. 
Oh, you're right. You know, for being like the ultimate detective, investigator, whatever you are, you really don't seem to... He really doesn't seem to have displayed any features that one would have. Oh, you guys also told me that... I don't remember where, but... You guys told me that the, like, the mono Kuma dolls or whatever are back. So I'm gonna have to look for those. Would you like to leave? Yes, I would. Yeah, those were a pain to find in the second game, but... I'm sure I can deal with it this time. I don't remember where you told me it was, but I'm sure I'll find him eventually. But I know the demo did give us a ridiculous skill that makes the, uh, the silencer and conversations automatic. Whoa, what are you guys doing? What are you guys working on? Are you making, like, another part of the... I'm not gonna ask. I guess they're just on construction duty 24-7. Where am I supposed to be going anyways? Oh, hey, we can finally go this way now. We couldn't before, because there was a log, I guess? And I guess we can't climb. It's not Kaede's ultimate ability. It's not climbing over small objects. She can't do it. The backyard. Yeah, we couldn't access uh, here before. Whoa! Then... Looks like we're all here, so where's this manhole? Um... Um, over there in grass. Yeah, I see it. But can I talk to everyone here? Hurry up, don't you want to escape from here? I do. I want to talk to you people. Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there could be creepy creatures down there? What's there to be afraid of? Even if they're, even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic. It's impossible. That's not, that's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Ooh. Oh, your magic is so powerful. Protect you. Well then, though I may be unworthy, I'll protect you, Himiko. May I leave it to you? They seem to be getting along quite well. Not a single other person here seems to be getting along. I mean, except for Gonto with everyone. Why? What's wrong? Manhole and grass over there. Yes, I know, Gonto. Wow, it's like a super secret entrance. I'm so excited. Atua says so. Atua's just excited as I am. I know, because he told me. That's where Cat lives, and we're about to disturb her, so we should not. Fucking slugs! Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch. I hurry up already, chop chop. In any event. The ground opens up before us as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by the darkness, will we be able to return to the lights? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kyu, for. er. Kyo? Ki yeah, Kyo. Kyu. You know, I'm just gonna run in the manhole now. <laughs> it's true, there really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> a similar hole f uh, near some bush sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? Whoa. Ah, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift Leave it? it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he... <laughs> My apologies. How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? Ah, robot's not even strong enough to move it. Listen closely. Oh, don't worry, my physical strength is approximate to the, that of a strong senior citizen. What? Piece of shit! That's a- that- that's fucking pathetic. <laughs> the, the professor did not want to repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Uh... Um, now I'm just curious about what happened during that trial. Allow Gonta. The, oh, then allow Gonta. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover, too. Gonta placed his hands on the manhole cover and... What? See Daisy. He's that strong? Two fingers. Two fingers is all it took. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Or just lifts trucks, oh, I guess. You're amazing, Himiko. What should Gonta do with cover now? <laughs> Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um... Actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. But now, in order to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. <laughs> you're literally, you're really worried about littering. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> what wonderful strength! You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Okay, Kyo, whatever Gonta you say. Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly. Gonta never do that. Um... Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But... 
But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. <laughs> While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark to see inside clearly, but I could feel the cold, moist air drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. Are we really going it. in here? I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there, right? It's not like there's ever water down there, right? We're not going to drown, right? I'll protect you! If anything happens, I'll protect most of you, but the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then going to protect menfolk. That's true. <laughs> Awfully quiet. Where are the Mo where are Monokuma and the Monocubs? I see. Yes. I was certain they would show up at some point to crush us like rotten gnats. <laughs> <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I see. Let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Once we- I can't wait to see the ridiculous reasoning as why we can't leave here. Once we had all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. This is a very large sewer. Exit. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yoo-hoo! yo le hoo What is it? <laughs> what is this place? An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left of hey. them. Hey, look at- take a look at this. <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is, in, is the um. exit. Considerate? Don't you think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. <laughs> I, I, I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. <laughs> well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Uh, yeah. What? No need to worry. Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates yeah, here, right? right? As long as we work together, everything will work out uh, just fine. Okay. Y yeah, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. No. Um, no. <laughs> Kaede, the ultimate shutdown. <sighs> Degenerate male. Typical degenerate behavior. You're just trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. Well, I mean, how else are you supposed to hug people? It's not like they can just take them off. Anyways, let's go. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this'll all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. We're about to take on the death road of despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press the L and the directional buttons to move, and press the circle button to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a ledge, if you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated, and control will switch to one of the remaining students. Oh, really? If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean for things to get that real. Now, for now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. Oh my god! We're, we're all paper people! Come on, everyone, single file! About to push it open for everyone. <laughs> I can't Leave it to me! Lose here. Oh shit! Everyone, be careful! <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Leave it to me! It just runs right into the water. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry if I laughed and I just like <laughs> broke the microphone, but that was too funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, you slide. Fine, this I'll fucking do it. Oh! I'll do it. I am a failure. Well, so good. As a man. No. Let's have go. fun with this. I'm definitely gonna need to practice on this game. This is it is not an easy one, especially since it purposefully controls like shit. What are some of the core? <laughs> Oh, some Hallelu of the coins explode. <laughs> not gonna make it. Uh, oh, what? As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I'd somehow lost consciousness. Oh! Are you feeling alright? Are you? You're awake. Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Why do I suck at platforming? Zeno, I blame That's you. Right. Everyone sat stunned in silence as, as, sober, as sobering fat, or sadness filled the air. 
<laughs> Guys, can we try again? I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. Jesus, it's quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing your, for yourselves. What? A Monokuma. Rise and shine, or sign. No joke, though. Huh. That is one, like, they purposely made it really hard to control and made everything, like, super counterintuitive to what you know. Made it, like, purposely kind of unfair so you'd lose. But I I'm sure that there's a way that you can beat that and you get to the end and it'd be really cool, but I doubt anyone does it their first try. Unless everyone does it their first try and I just suck super bad. That, that could be the case. I don't know. Wow, you all look exhausted, poor things. I feel sorry for you. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. I bet Monodom is feeling lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Hey! Why don't you respond to a Monodom? It'll liven things up a little, you know? Shh. <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed that we were, what we were up to. Noticed? You've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. <laughs> what? Um, y yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just a trap. The worst of the worst. Then there was no exit. You tricked Don't us. Worry. No, there was an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> Ooh, and if you don't, if at first you don't succeed, Shing. try, try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> so long. I wonder if there's an ending where you can just beat that and then you just leave. <laughs> yeah, so if we escape, we can work. We can escape if we work Fucking hard moron. enough. No way, you little moron. They'd be freaking- they'd be freaking out if we could actually Jeez. reach it. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage so we'd learn that escape is impossible. Got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home. They want us to be, to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually, That's just rotten. You might be right, but- But we can't give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know. We can't go okay. up this early, right? But is it getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take mo one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what I'll he says to us. I don't want to lose to him. I don't want any of you to lose either. Either. I refuse to lose someone who would do these terrible things to us. Right. Kaede. Mm -hmm. So let's all work together to escape this place. Oh, uh, and once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, right? why don't we all stay friends? Um, F friends? Yeah. After going through an, an experience like this, I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> hmm, that might not be bad. Yeah, yeah that's a great yeah. idea. Then we've all then we've all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. Uh, uh. My body is ready. <laughs> You can tell by how out of control my pitch sweat is. I'm glad. E everyone. How are males the degenerates? But... Isn't it premature to say that what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I surprised that the robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. <laughs> That's robophobic. <laughs> Robots can read the air, thanks to innovations in pollutant detecting technology. Let's go. Anyway, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. Show him what right. we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. I just said that twice in an accident. You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be fine, and if I win, we'll blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, oh, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. They're bond stronger than ever. We stepped in the tunnel once more. <laughs> Come on, guys. That doesn't mean I got better. That just means that we're more... <laughs> that we're more excited to fail. Guys, okay, they can't jump before I do. Oh, shit. Guys! This game is actually really hard. Okay, there we go. We're, we're Suichi time now. Oh, that's it. We can't jump. We have to jump over these coins. Damn it! Leave it to me. This is it for me. Damn it! Let's go. Wait, they fall? Looks like Time it's to no do good. My best. How the hell do I avoid that? 
Whoa. Oh, they don't go that way. This is actually kind of... I shall go. I don't even know how I'm supposed to deal with that. That jump seems a little much. So this yes. is Oh my cool. goodness, they purposely made it like horrifically Sorry. difficult. Couldn't do it. Still I'll do it. Him a Got failure. ways to go. A maid. Huh? Oh. I'm gonna fail this again. I'm sorry, guys. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry. Let's have fun I couldn't with do this. it! <laughs> Good god. The game is hard. I suck at it a lot. Uh when I finally woke up searing pain course throughout my entire body. I I see, I lost consciousness again. Well what the and I was looking forward to a happy Don't ending. Worry. Not yet, we're just getting started. <laughs> of course, this will be a piece of cake. Go to Gano Escape, become friends with everyone, gentlemen, never give up. This time we'll reach the exit. <laughs> this time. Those words carried me as I stepped in the tunnel once again, but it was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape, but we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. <sighs> failed again. Damn, Damn it. Seems like I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up this time, Will. Well, you know. Knock it off already. Huh? Huh? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> You're forcing us to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, to torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up an impossible situation. You want you won't let us give up and no matter what 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 we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us, you're strong arming us. I, I didn't mean it like hey, that. Degenerate man! Hey, degenerate, quit being so selfish. Please don't. I, I'm not being selfish. The other ways feel huh? the other people feel feel the same way too. <laughs> Kibo. He's just like, that's it. I'm turning off. I don't care anymore. Uh, everyone? My spirit. I don't, I don't know. Broken. Angie His seems pretty down. At me. <laughs> Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. This feels like Darkest Dungeon. Yeah. I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. <laughs> this bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. Then just use, like, I don't know, like Drain or something. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Do you ever run out of energy, Angie? Wait! Uh, p please, wait, we can hey, no guys. give up. Guys, you guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? No. We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Ah, ah so you're gonna interpret it like that, you huh? Are you kidding me? But what are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing <laughs> game. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. Oh ho! Oh ho! Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! So stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Shut up! Jeez. Just because you can't fight. Uh, okay. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. I'm sorry, this is my fault. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, no, Kaede. Uh, idiot, what are you apologizing for? It's not your fault mm. at all. Uh, really? I think it is Kaede's fault. What? Well, how, why? This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Gifted it Juveniles. It is now nighttime. It is now nighttime. It's now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts it's now. Betty bad time. Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to th time to go tinky and go to Betty Bye. Be the dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Bedtime or sign. Kya ha ha, sweet dreams. Oh. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've been assigned to a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should just rest there. <laughs> hey, we're gonna rest there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But... 
But that makes me nervous to think that we'll be staying the night in this creepy school. Okay. Okay, well, nothing we can do but suck it up. <laughs> so what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there That's at right. that time? Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay with it's that. Decided. Can we go to our rooms Either already? Way. Yes, we should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. What? How old are you? I'll, I'll come with you if you don't mind. Just, just let me know. Okay, all right. I see the way you roll. Oh. Uh, hey guys, just as a warning. How should I put this? We shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. People seem to like forget the fact that we can still kill each other. You mean? C cuss of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Yeah. Um. Sorry, buddy, but your logic doesn't apply here. I know. I know. Just a warning. Even though Rontaro seems to be kind of, like, creepy, he does not want to seem like everyone to die, but he seems to be on, like, the side of, okay, guys, chill out. And you seem to have, like, uh, you seem to have, like, a huge thing for Kaede. I mean... Hey, why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were un united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, the unity is Seriously? gone now. Come on. Sh shut up. That's just stupid. That's just the stupid end result. It's not like that's what you wanted. It's not like you wanted it to go away. Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> go that way. Sorry for my bad breeding skills, I guess. Listen up. All right, no, that's him. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... Everyone's just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind later. <sighs> well, anyway, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. I'm sure Suichi's not blaming us. Thank you, Kaido. Uh, um... Um, Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us, at least I don't think so. Yeah, thanks, Suichi. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and, and rest. Right. right, we'll see you tomorrow. Do you know I just thought of it's super messed up and sad? I feel like... I feel like Chiaki's uh, moment in Danganronpa V3 needs to- er, in Danganronpa 3 needs to be recreated in that mini-game. Gonta, what are you still doing here? Oh, you have to put the manhole cover back on, don't you? What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Gonta worry about manhole. Is it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real Just bad? Gonta, gentlemen! Gonta, gentlemen! Gonta, no can ignore that. But Kirumi tell Gonta leave cover mm. off. Gonta not know what to do. Everyone knows it. He knows it's here. I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't You're worry right? about it. Okay, right. Maybe Gonta just keep an keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Gonta, go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good night. Uh, Gonta's so nice, which makes me worry a lot. <laughs> Gonta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. And then there's this backstory where he ate like ten children or something. What's in the right door? Is that not where we came from? Oh no, this loops around the other side of the school. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright, well, time to get back to the dorm. There's these white- Oh, these yellow lights are where people are standing, huh? Oh, it's you. What's up, are Kurumi? You all right? Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not fret over it. Yeah, everyone's trying to cheer Kaede up. They're like, Kaede, it's not your fault. You're the best in the world. Ah, uh, seeing it like this, the school is really eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. What about you? What about you, Himiko? What do you think? With my magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Rest in peace. That would be eternal sleep. <laughs> the magical part is you never wake up. Anyone hanging around the dorm? Nope. Let's just barge into Miu's room, piss her off. This is Miu's room, I don't have any business with her right now. Uh, Look at Gonta's, so gigantic. Honestly, his looks a lot like Hajime's, or sorry, uh, Nagi's. Oh, there's a room. I don't know how I was missing that. Looked over it like five times. Does it look the same as it did in the demo? Hagakure's still dead in the shower. Wait, does the shower even exist? It looks like it, but... So this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? 
A key? Is this key to my room? Bingo! Bingo, you got it. That's right. Nice work. That is, in fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here, but you should still lock your door Hell when you leave. Yeah! Alright, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. That's wrong! Shut up, I don't want to hear about that. Yeah! Uh, I just got chewed out. <laughs> Jeez, this place is the worst. I'm to go home. I'm tired of these goddamn bears popping out of the floor. Is this a closet? Guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. How oh, it's this? Inside there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Oh, they're trying to explain why everyone wears the same stuff every day. That's cool. Did they prepare all these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? Is there even a place to do laundry? I don't think there is. I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. Oh my goodness. I get you, Kaede. I get you. Like, seriously, I'm sorry if I'm being, uh... I don't want, like, a brag. Like, I know in the past episodes I said things like, Oh, I know I play an instrument rather well. Like, oh, I did martial arts. I'm not trying to brag or anything. But, like, I completely understand that mentality of just if you keep doing something, eventually you'll become good at it. And I, I don't know. It's just that's all there is to it. Just patience. But maybe playing piano is easier because I'm blessed with that talent. Oh, that's not true. You had to work hard to get there. You just liked it a lot. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell asleep into a deep sleep. I mean, I'm not as insane as you are over everything. Monokuma Theater. Oh, good God. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. New students of the Ultimate Academy, congratulations. The weeds here have grown thick with joy as if celebrating your entrance into the school. Wait, he killed himself? Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. Let's do lots of killing, too. I pray for, this, for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that, that will do. Yeah, because now that I think about it, in DRV3, there was the one classroom with uh, Junko, and she just walked in, she's like, Okay, everyone kill each other, and then they go, We'll never do that, though, right? And then five seconds later, they're all dead. <laughs> Rise and shine, her sign. This is an announcement! Yum, yum, this is an official announcement from the from the Ultimate it's Academy. It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m., bitches. <laughs> Time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Stu, stop! If I if I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Enjoy your killing semester. Hmm. Phew, it was also a terrible dream, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. No, it's you this time. Sumugi. Or Sumugi. I don't remember which one it is. Sumugi, yeah. Morning, Sumugi. Um, good morning, Kaede. What's the matter, not feeling well? I woke up a bunch of times last night, and each time I realized this all wasn't a dream. But even That's so, right. I still woke up this morning and hoping it was a dream. And in the end, it still yeah. wasn't. Yeah, same here. But we gotta face this reality. <gasps> You're right, we need to fight against this reality and... Sorry. Oh, sorry for the weird conversation so early in the morning. But everyone's waiting. It's not your fault, you're just scared. Uh, dining hall. Let's just chill out in here. It looks like you could enter from the school the school building from here, but it's blocked off. Wait. Oh, no, we're going to the kitchen, I think it was. Hi, Suichi. Suichi. Good morning, Suichi. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm... I was just on my way there. Um... Hey. Kaede? Hey, what's the matter? Yeah? No. Oh, it's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. I wonder what's up with Suichi. Maybe he seems preoccupied with something. Well, I can ask him later. I need to go. Oh, did he find a body already? I wouldn't be surprised if it's... I mean, the first night death is the ultimate, like, despair. It's like the despair opener. When you stay there one night and someone is already dead. It's perfect. Monokuma knows. 
Hey everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can't see behind Gonta. <laughs> oh, everyone's here already. So then. Now all of us have arrived. Okay, I guess everyone's here then. No one's dead. <laughs> I'm glad. It looks as though there were no victims. Of course. But of course. By the way. By the way, are you okay, Kaede? Huh? How what do you mean? Well, you looked really bummed out after everyone started blaming Wait. you yesterday. Hey, hey, what are you doing all the- That's so mean. Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. She tried her best to encourage everyone, you and you sore losers got mad at her anyway. That's enough. What's the point of bringing that hey, up again? Degenerate male! Actually, didn't you blame Kaede first? Uh, n now it's my fault? Why are you guys ganging up on me? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Chill. Okay, I know this guy is like... Probably the most charismatic person here, so don't trust anything he says, and he's just trying to loop us around in dis despair, because why not? Oh, ah, you guys are so terrible, so mean. Hmm, you're too noisy, Jeez. cut it out. But it's true, everyone blamed Kaido without taking any responsibility oh, no. themselves. Hey, come on now, everyone's probably just tired. <gasps> Shut it, that's no excuse. No, it's okay, it doesn't bother me. I... It's just, I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. She literally got tunnel vision. Alright, well if you're okay with it, then hey, so am I. Goodness. Ew, cool beans, and everything's hey. settled. But you did blame That's her first, didn't you? Well, that was a lie, you know? One of those lies to make us more united or whatever. <laughs> 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 did you know half my lies are actually told with good what intentions? Are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Um, let's just forget let's just forget about it. Discuss something else. Right? Okay, let's I'll think about ways to get out of here. Before you do that, I have an announcement. Ah! Stop it! Hey, don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress on oh, my heart. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. I'll just go through the door next time. I knew it. So you did mean to surprise What's us. Wrong? Well, your announcement. Get on with it. Well, now. It's not terribly important, but it's easier to stay alive by being an obvious goody two shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you're able to kill someone easily. <laughs> So I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you motivation. Oh, I didn't think he'd do this again, because in DR2, he didn't even have to. In the first game, he had to. Motivation I'll to kill? In short, a motive. This ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they could whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. Incomprehensible. Well, what are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. Yeah, I will announce this first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Now then, the special motive I prepared is called the First Blood Perk. Whoever kills the first person gets a pizza bagel. Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. What? Can you believe it? That means the first one to kill someone will get to graduate. No strings attached. Oh, God, you really... You really did it this time! Oh no! Oh no! I mean, I knew we were gonna get to it eventually, but... That's too much, Monokuma. What are you talking about? No class trial will be Let held. Explain. I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial Psycho! at all. Just relax, calm down, and kill after all. The first one's free. Really? Huh, that's all? We just gotta kill someone to get out of here? Right. That's all? What's that supposed to mean? Please just you calm down. Me. First blood perk. Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? Yeah. There's no way I'm happy. Stop it. Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? Huh? huh? No, that's wrong. Do you really think I'd just kill someone just to get out? That's wrong. In your dreams. We're not going to lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. Who <laughs> <laughs> spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how you plan to survive. You just got to kill someone, right? Always messing around. Why, you bastard. How should I put this? I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? huh? What's that? It's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? Yeah, the prisoner's dilemma. I believe they brought that up in, like, the Zero Escape games, didn't they? But if you didn't, don't cooperate, you... Receive some benefit that no one else gets. So sure. It's an incentive to portray the group, to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all of our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. 
That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Kaede's plan to get us to cooperate. Huh? What? Uh, um... And if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we'd How cooperate. Terrifying. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. To tell you the truth... Right? I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's just better to kill. Uh... What? You... Please wait. It seems you are quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. I've had enough. Kaido lunged towards Monokuma to grab him, but... Rise and shine, <laughs> Yeah, if he actually touched Monokuma, he'd probably be dead. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, looks like we got ourselves a volunteer. Racing. Finally, time for the exorcists. He won't let you lay a hand on Daddy. We want Daddy to and smile every day. That. You bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with what? us. What? What? What are you guys Please planning stop. to do? Please don't. Kaito. Run, Kaido! Oh, are we seriously doing this? That moment we heard the menacing mechanical noise as the Exosoul's charged. The sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the dining hall, and then a final gasp. <laughs> Destroyed. Target eliminated. Huh? Father! F Father? <laughs> Come on, Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal. It's Monodom's fault. <laughs> this is Monodom's fault somehow. Um. Well, what's this? What's going geez. on? I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's was in pieces. Okay. Serves him right. Just he got agree. what he deserved. <laughs> do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear celebrate! momentarily. That there, there's no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> but when father was alive, he used to tell us cubs. That we must cherish life because we are like snowflakes, unique in every way. <laughs> well... If only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma's dead? <gasps> or daddy, let us at least bury him with full oh. honors. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. In case. Well, we're at it. We should toss in some carrots and potatoes, too. Ah. Ooh, maybe he had some leftover curry, too. Who knows? You know, the sweet kind, my favorite. Oh. Spicy curry's better, though. You all want an extra large side of rice, too, right? That's right. Now that we're now that we're the new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. So long, farewell. So legit, he's gone. Um. Um. What's going on? I'm so fucking confused. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> everything's a complete mess now. But if there's no final boss, <laughs> that means the killing game is canceled. Huh? Yay! <laughs> Starts frolicking outside. Everyone's like picking up flowers and just throwing them in the air. Someone actually touches a bug, going to smash, kills all of them. No. no. Oh, cancelled. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. Haha. <laughs> don't be such a worry ward. Everyone, everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, continuing this game is pretty much impossible. So means... Which means we we win. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. So we're not in danger anymore? Oh, so do we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or...? That's wrong! Well, wait a minute, we don't know that yet. <laughs> Kaede, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed about what you did huh? yesterday. But, but I didn't mean well. it like that. Or is there something you would have us do, Kaede? Trashy skank! Don't tell me you want to take on that underground passage again. All right already. Quiet, we know it's impossible. Sorry. Sorry. Okay! Yeah, whatevs. Looks like we're done here. Phew, what a relief. After Kokichi finished talking to or talking, we all went our separate ways and decided to return to my own room. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying and control. Oh, you poor thing! It's okay. It's it just turn that frown upside down. All your friends are probably dead. It's fine. Uh. Huh? Why? Because you're sad. That moment, the intercom in my room rang. It's Suichi. Will you let me in? Well, I'm gonna leave it at this terrible cliffhanger right here. It was behind this door, who knows? But, um, thank you guys for watching. This is really starting to ramp up, and I'm having so much fun. Uh, as I'm gonna say probably in a video coming very soon, the games I'm playing right now on the channel are probably, like, my favorite selection I have ever done. Um, I'm having so much fun with both of them. It's ridiculous. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, as it does really help out a lot. Uh, more than you guys know. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and see you on the next video. Right now.